Hello, hello, UCHU. Good evening. This is Angela Jordan Perry with United Christian Homeschoolers Unlimited Accountability Association. So uh, this is an option three accountability association located in South Carolina. So I uh, am a director here, uh, have uh, families that I provide uh, the ability to have legal status to homeschool in South Carolina. So if you're wondering what in the world is option three accountability, that's what it is. There's three options to homeschool in South Carolina. Option one is connected with public school, generally public school in your home. Option two is connected to SCAES. That's an acronym, SCAES, South Carolina Association of Independent Homeschoolers. And so when homeschooling became a law in the state of South Carolina, everyone homeschooling had to join under option two, which is SCAES. And then families felt that that was too, uh, too many regulations and requirements under option two. So then option three came into law. And so I am one of the option three directors in the state where I provide that legal ability for homeschoolers to homeschool. So today's question is under the option three law, at what grade level should you begin giving your students grades, you know, grades for report cards or grades on paperwork or tests or what have you? So this is a very good question that I get asked often, okay? So according to the option three law, there is no regulations that says when you are to start giving your students an actual grade, you know, a grade on, on whatever they do. So there is no statute that says that. Many families uh, choose to uh, not give grades at all uh, during their schooling year. I am one of those parents. I do not give grades to any of my kids, not until we reach high school level, or I should say once we start reaching uh, earning credits, okay? Once we start earning credits, for uh, whether that's in seventh grade or eighth grade, uh, then I would give them a grade. And then you, again, under the option uh, three law, it doesn't say how you must give that grade. Must it be on every piece of paper they do? Must it be on just tests? Must it be cumulative? It doesn't indicate that. So you have the freedom of the, as the home educator to decide. How do you want to grade your children? You know, on a personal level, I generally grade on math quizzes and tests, and those will, those accumulated things will give their grades. Um, and then if they don't pass it well, we're going to go over that material again until it is a, a decent, you know, satisfactory grade that I want them to have, which is generally always going to be an A. I want them to know it, and we'll go over it again, and we'll go over it again. Um, so every homeschool would do it differently, and every accountability association in the state of South Carolina will require it differently. So if you're not a part of my association, be sure to know what your association requires. Their grading may be totally different, okay? Hi, I'm Martina. So uh, yeah, uh, even uh, when it comes to history or something like that, I don't grade my kids on, um, I don't give them a grade at all. When they're in high school, uh, they're completing writing assignments. I will critique that, I will, I will look it over, give the corrections and say go correct it and I'll give them a grade. Um, but generally, uh, let's see, math, their history, science, uh, what we have used forever is virtualhomeschoolgroup.org, hi there. Uh, we've used that forever and online they can complete their quizzes and their tests there and so uh, quizzes they're able to do it again and again if the grades are not well. The tests, uh, once they finish the test is done but that gives me a cumulative grade and I just pull from that. Uh, the other things uh, just on a personal level, my kids have done orchestra and violin studies and dance and um, things like that in co-op. So again, um, you know, those grades are variable. Now, let's talk about grades that you get from co-op if you have a student that's in a co-op and you're also teaching them at home, of course. How do you get that grade? So generally in a co-op, depending on what, uh, which one you're a part of, uh, they may provide you with the grade, okay? At the end of the year, they may have kept a cumulative grade for them and then you can just utilize that grade. Um, I had a parent say, must I keep that grade? Can I um, bump them up from a college prep to honors um, by giving them more work? And I told the parent, absolutely. You can add in more work, and um, that's over and above what they did in the co-op. 
um, to make it an honors and then give them their final grade there. So again, the option three law doesn't stipulate completely how you must do that. You have the freedom, you're the home educator, and that's the beauty, the beauty of homeschooling under option three, okay? So if you have more questions, reach out to me. Uh, send me an email at uchuthirdoption at gmail.com. Uh, be sure to subscribe on YouTube at Angela Jordan Perry dash UCHU, where I put out content. I'm doing it daily. Or uh, you can also uh, just be sure to follow and like here on Facebook at United Christian Homeschoolers Unlimited. So thank you for allowing me to serve you. Uh, just remember, I'm always serving you and yours. And any way I can help you um, as you're members of my association, please let me know. If you're not and you have questions, send me a message uh, here and I'll be happy to get you get back with you, okay? Take care and thank you so much for being a part of uh, my homeschool community. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend.